And now we turn to the Chinese Basketball Association, where one of the most highly anticipated matchups of the season so far took center stage here in the capital Sunday night as Tracy McGrady and the Qingdao Eagles took on Stephen Marbury and Beijing Ducks. The defending champions. T Mac hoping to lead his side past the defending champs and snap a season long six game losing skid. However, as James Kim reports, that would not be the case as the Ducks defeated their house or defended their house rather and sent McGrady home a beaten and a frustrated man. Check it out. Thousands of fans flocked to the home stadium of the Beijing Ducks on Sunday night. The CBA's defending champs were hosting the Eagles. A team who has lost all of its six games so far this season and sits on the bottom of the league standings. But the real reason was simple why these basketball fans had gathered under freezing conditions for a nearly decided battle. Marbury had achieved success with Beijing, so I hope my grade can also prove his ability soon. Qingdao's domestic players are weak. I want to see my grade match up with Marbury, even though he's growing older. All eyes were on Tracy McGrady. He still holds a place in the memory of many basketball fans in China, where the former Rockets point guard was seen as a star when he partnered with Yao Ming during his time in Houston. But T Mac has a tough job to fill. He was expected to get Qingdao through its dismal run, which meant he needed to beat Marbury's Ducks. McGrady began scoring on the night with a driving slam and led the Eagles to a perfect start. His 16 points in the opening quarter put Qingdao in front. T-Mac, though a visitor to Beijing, drew applause from the home crowd and even eclipsed the support that Marbury and the Ducks enjoyed. But his team soon fell short of energy when the former NBA scoring champ went off for a rest. Beijing picked up the slack and put it away under the guidance of Marbury. The former New York guard proved he was heart of the city. Marbury led the Ducks with 14 points and 10 assists, while Beijing retained a double-digit lead most of the night. McGrady came back after a short absence, but failed to turn things around with a match-high 37 points on the night. t Max's temper even flirted after knowing the Eagles were going to face his seventh consecutive loss. He played well. He played really good tonight. He played really well. He shot the ball well. Um, he, did, he came out and played the way how he was supposed to play tonight. Though I think he played dirty, I think it was a dirty play. I don't think he plays dirty. Um, but it definitely was a dirty play. It wasn't, it wasn't called for. Unlike Marbury, who had achieved great success in China, McGrady is still struggling for his first victory in a brand new league. How long he'll have to wait is still up in the air. James Kim, CCTV.